Mic check. Hello. One, two, one, two. Mic check, you check, one, two. Yo, yo. I think we're live. <laughs> I think we're live. Uh, just setting a few windows up. One second. Uh, hey, Fifi, rock and roller. Martin. Uh, me in, Matthew. Tidy Beats, Ian, Shane, Chris. Uh, Top Cat, Marcus. Yeah, good holiday, mate. Thanks. How are you, buddy? Uh, Sam, SK, Charles, DJM, Wheatie, Eli, uh, Sivlap, Dennis, Console Genius. That's not a PS4. It's not indeed. Uh, right, let me just uh, get these windows set up. Uh, Epic Bros. Hey, Ian. Been a member for a year. Nice. Happy birthday. <laughs> uh, Tarik. Ant. How's it going? Uh, will you be doing any Nintendo Switches? Maybe, I'm not sure yet. Maybe. Maybe. How's everyone doing? I hope you're all doing well. Andrew, don't forget to like the live stream. Cheers, mate. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Jamie, welcome, mate. How's it going? Uh, Chris. The day you just finished the Xbox video, like a whole lot of headaches. Yeah, about seven or eight hours worth of headaches, mate. <laughs> yeah, Kempe, how's it going? Steve, bro, welcome, mate. Uh, you know what I do need to do? I need to make this chat window a bit bigger if I can. Uh, Dark Anubis just resubscribed for nine months. Thanks, JB. Thank you, mate. Really appreciate it. Hungry Giant, Joseph, Soxican, Tommy, Pratt Dog, Chris610. Uh, all good, mate. Hope you're well. Uh, SK, you have a Series X yourself, and now I can have, a, have it working for longer. Oh, awesome, dude. Hopefully, awareness spreads. Yeah, I agree. Isn't this a bit early for you? Nah, normal time. Uh, right, I need to... Um, try and make this chat window bigger. Because I'm, I'm going to try put, try putting chat in front of me. Uh, don't know if it'll help me or what, but... We'll see. Uh, let's try this. Do I have any better? If I miss any chat, I apologise. Try scaling it to 230. Yeah, that's better. Charles Ortiz became a member. There we go. Uh, Wheatie, gifted five subs. You absolute legend, mate. Thank Martin you. Martin White became a member. What a beast. Thank you, buddy. Uh, right, where did, I, where did I get to on chat? Um, Martin White became a member. Pop, shut up, no one cares. <laughs> Jonathan, the big 40 today. Oh, happy birthday, Kempe. Happy birthday, mate. When do you actually see? Find it, Pretty fix it, never. Philip, it became a member. It's a real concern regarding the SSD video, yeah. It's sad to say, it's getting more common. Dad will fix it. Became a member. 
Get any more comment? Right, I'll just let those gifted memberships go through. Uh, David, XX Ellis. Can be XX became a member. No worries, Ellis. Cheers, dude. Uh, tab, how's it going? Filthy. XX can be XX became a member. Uh, do 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 do. Tony and Jack, good evening. Dad will fix it. Became a member. If I miss anyone, I apologise because I'm using a different uh, chat window. I think. You think it's possible to do an APU transfer on a PS5? If so, can you make a video? I may have one coming up. Maybe I don't know. Um, I've got a board which I want to try and do one on. So maybe sometime in the future, but. I'm not sure when, because I've got so much to do at the minute. So I'm not really sure when, but yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully soon. Uh, I'm working on a very interesting Xbox Series X for a video. Um, I bought an Xbox Series X for £140 and it was literally baked inside with plaster, as in wall plaster. We're having late night streams and kids, when do you actually sleep? Yeah, I really... Pretty much don't sleep, mate. <laughs> I'll get about three hours a night. Especially when I'm live streaming. It's brutal on a Monday night when the kids are at school. I mean, the kids are not at school today, but... Uh, tomorrow, sorry, because they're off for a week. But during during school run days, Mondays are brutal. Because I finish streaming at like three o'clock and then I'm back up at seven. Belong to Fred Flintstone. <laughs> uh, good, thanks, Paul. How are you, mate? Uh, AI, how's it going? Um, Chris, how's it going, mate? Uh, Chris Fowler, that is. A very good evening. I hope you have a very successful film repair night. Thank you, Stephanie. Appreciate that, mate. Yeah. Um, holiday was, well, I wouldn't say relaxing. We've got kids, but, yeah. <laughs> was that the one that ended up in the oven? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Series X disk drive is grinding in one load of discs. I wanted to send it in for repair. I was pondering, but after watching some of your videos, I wonder if it's worth paying for an SSD clone. Um, I don't know, mate. I mean, <coughs> it's hard to say, really, because the problem is the SSD clone is only valid until you next update it. Go to school in the summer. Um, what do you mean, mate? Next time I get quoted, quoted a week for work, I'm turning the power off, doing 48 hours. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll just let some more people come in. That video is doing great, by the way. Thank you, everyone, uh, if you've watched it. And if you haven't, fuck you. <laughs> uh, no, in all seriousness, that video is doing great. Um, 3,900 views so far. The best performing video before that in the last 10 videos I've posted in the same time frame. It's had 2,000 views. Smashing it. Almost double. Killing it. So, yeah. That's going to be uh, popping off, that video is. The algorithm will love that. Where's that torch? What do you mean, mate? I'm in the US and kids are out of school until August. Oh, right. Our, our kids break up in July, I think, around about the middle of July, something like that. Uh, they've got a week off for, um, I, I don't know what it is. I think it's half term or something. Um, but then they've got, they break up, break up in, and move up a year in July. So their summer break is July. Patrick, how's it going, mate? So we didn't get the retro game thing fixed. Yeah. So no one cares to start fixing. That's for you, mate. <laughs> Can we just all appreciate how clean my hands are now compared to what they'll look like later on once I've started doing rework? Spring half term, something like that, mate, yeah. What video are you talking about? The one I posted about, well, just under two hours ago. Uh, so it's giving an average of a uh, thousand views every like half an hour or so. Uh, it's just hit four thousand views, which is nice. It's pretty sweet. I wonder if Microsoft have replied to me on Twitter. Ha! <laughs> Probably not. 
In fact, very unlikely. <laughs> we are streaming on Twitter, by the way. Even though I don't think there's any way to talk on Twitter. Xbox. Damn it. Uh, maybe not the place, but if you don't get your own ass, can I post a just just giving link in Discord for a charity skydiver I'm doing for my godson? Uh, I mean, you can post it, but I'm not going to endorse it because of no effect. Don't take this the wrong way because of all the, all the scams and stuff that go on with sites like that. I'm not going to endorse it. You're welcome to post it in the self promotion section, but um, I'm not going to be able to endorse it because of obviously all of the crap that surrounds just giving and all of those other um, fundraiser sites and stuff. But you're welcome to post it in the um, dinghy section. I'll take a look at it if I get a chance. Wouldn't it be cool if they did reply with a master key for the SSD? Yeah, if only. Just send the destroy Xbox Series X in for the disk drive repair. Yeah, no worries, mate. Uh, but yeah, the problem with the Series X, in I've seen a few comments. I haven't replied to any comments yet. So I usually leave it a few hours. Um, but the problem with the Series X is, yes, you can take backups, but it's only valid until the next update. Because as soon as you do another update, the security key is going to change. Cheers, Matthew. I have a PS4 Pro that will connect a controller in the back USB port, but doesn't connect in the front two ports, but does give power to the controllers. Hmm, I've never come across that. It could be the safe bridge, um, or it could be something to do with the front USB controller. I think I think there's a chip on there. I'm sure there is. Yeah. Thought you would have. Thought you would have had a week off with the family. I have had a week off, mate. Today's the first day back. Um, I streamed on Friday, not Friday gone, but the Friday before, and then I've had a week off. Uh, the videos I posted last week were automatic. Um, I'd edited them before I went away. Went away. Cheers, Matthew. Sorry to keep asking, but when will you be preparing my 3DS? Um, I will need to find that, mate, if you've sent a 3DS in. Um, I remember receiving a 3DS, but I don't think there was any paperwork with it. So I'll have to find it. Um, leave it with me, I'll find it tomorrow, mate. And um, I th I'm pretty sure there was no paperwork with it. When are you going to do a PS3 console? I'm not sure, mate. I'm not sure. How's it going, Joseph? I don't see any reason why the Xbox can't create its own partitions in full format. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Can you start fixing away? Ha! <laughs> yeah. Uh, Charles, been a member for four months. Nice. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. Right, yeah, let's get to some fixes. Um... Instead of faffing around. Um, so, this got sent to me. Um, I don't know what's wrong with it. I think it's an old power. It's a really, really cool looking laptop. It's a, obviously a gaming tablet slash laptop thing. Um, got an RTX graphic card in it. I think, I'm pretty sure it's an old power. I'm not 100% sure, but we're going to find out. Um, so, let me just... Uh, I don't think there's any... Oh, yeah, it does detach. All right, yeah, so it's pretty much like the ones I've been working on recently. Um... <coughs> so, yeah, I think this is no power. I'm going to plug it in to see what's happening. Uh, it is USB-C, so I can use the ammeter on it. And hopefully not scratch a bloody screen. Jesus Christ. Yep, that's for charging. It's got a charging symbol on it. Uh, 20 volts, 0.05 amps, 0.3 amps, let's see what happens, no lights on it, is it going to jump up, because 0.3 amps, unless the battery is full, isn't going to be enough to charge it. Elvis 7755 just resubscribed for 10 months. Almost 12 lol. Cheers Elvis, thanks mate. Nearly there buddy. 
sent you a message last night about paperwork on your live chat. Oh, I haven't been on the live chat today because it's bank holiday, mate. Um, do, 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 do a motherboard. What motherboard was that, mate? Leave it on. Leave it on for a minute. Yeah, that's what I'm planning on doing. Yeah, just in case it's trickle charging it. I mean, it's taking a charge and it's negotiating 20 volts. I'm assuming that's normal. Um, it seems about right. I'm good, thanks, Dean. How are you, mate? I thought it was a laptop too. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to leave this for a minute. It is actually jumping up to 0 0.32 amps now. Nothing seems to be happening though. I would assume it would have turned on by now. And that's telling me there's probably some sort of a short on here. If it's drawing 0 0.3 amps, we might be able to pick that up with a thermal camera if that's the case. Uh, I've just got to figure out how to disassemble the damn thing. I'm going to leave it charging while I'm trying to disassemble it, but... I'll tell you what, let's press and hold the power button for a minute. See if anything happens. Is it liquid damage? I'm not sure, mate. No, nothing happening when I press and hold the power button. So that so that continuous current draw there, that kind of tells me there's probably a short on the board. So... I don't know whether I'm going to be able to fix this tonight. It depends on whether or not, whether or not I can get whatever part it needs. Probably not, but I at least need to look at it to figure out what's going on. So, there's two screws there. Screw there. Okay, that's for the SSD. It's a 2230 SSD. But that would have needed to come out anyway to be able to disassemble this. A couple of lung screws there. The question is, do I need to take off these hinges to be able to get to this or not? We do have some damage just here. Cheers, Weite. If I'm a Lenovo tablet yet. Uh, no, I have got one, um, but it's playing up a little bit. Every time the battery goes dead, I have to unplug it to charge it again, so probably going to have to use that for spares. Um, or, well, technically I could w sell you this one here. W33 Thai Super Shattered $2.46. You found my love no tablet yet, mucker? Could technically sell you that one there, but then I would need to install Ubuntu on another one. Um, damn it, I'll just... There you go. Uh, because I can technically unscrew this whenever I need to, right? Right. Uh, still 0 0.31 amps. No signs of life. Let's unplug that. Let's uh, remove this SSD. Do you know any good online shops to buy parts for consoles? Uh, ooh. I think uh, there's a site called consolefix.shop that sells some parts for consoles. <laughs> right. Slide my fingers down there. That's what she said. Right, do I need to... Does this come off from the top? Just let me know in Discord when you when you when you're good. Yeah, no worries, mate. Um, yeah, I could probably sell you this one. This one works absolutely fine. I could install Windows on this one and then um, 
I could just use the other one. Because the other one's got issues, but... Yeah. Right. Let's be careful not to damage anything here. Let's disconnect this battery if I can. Before I disconnect the screen. And what the hell is going on with this? What's happened here? There's jumper wires everywhere here. Uh, okay. Now I'm a little bit concerned. Right. Let's get rid of this screen for a minute. I'll just put that to one side safely out of the way. Fifi, been a member for two months. Cheers, dude. Yeah, you got issues, dude. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm a little bit worried about this. For this reason, four months, nice. Hmm. What on earth? That is not very good soldering. Uh, hmm. What the hell has happened? I mean, obviously someone's ripped. Well, that's going to cause an issue for a start. That's just flapping in the breeze there. Uh, obviously someone's ripped the, um, the pads off this. But that is... Well, it looks to be conductive. And that's just flapping in the breeze. What is that? Um, let's check, see if that's actually conductive. No, it's not. It's plastic. I thought it might have been uh, like a conductive film over it, but evidently not. Right, okay, well, let's continue. So very obviously, the uh, the battery connector has been ripped off. Like, why would you? Why would you just leave them running like that? And these are obviously going to be sense lines. A little bit of liquid tape over it. Why not? So now I can't get to the damn thing. And if you'd have put conformal coat in there, it might have been a little bit easier to work with, but no. Uh, hmm. This don't look great, does it? Uh, let's see if anything happens. Well, let's see if there's anything different without the battery plugged in, because if they've got them jumper wires mixed up or... If it's detecting a battery but not communicating with the battery, then that could be causing the issue. Um, let's have a look. So 20 volts. Zero point twenty nine amps. Don't know if there's any lights meant to light up on this but I'm not seeing any. Um right, okay, well I'm gonna have to take the uh the heat sink off so I can see the entire board. Right as soon as I find my screwdriver bits. That seem to have disappeared again.
It looks to me like that heating's never been off, so... Hmm. So how on earth has this happened? Okay, maybe it has been off because there's fresh thermal paste underneath. Intelligent vapor chamber. Well, how does that work? Okay, liquid metal. Uh, that's probably normal. It's probably me yeah, it's meant to have liquid metal. We've got some foam on it, so uh, yeah. So I'll. Th I think what I'm going to have to do is probably just have a look on the thermal camera because it would appear as though something's drawing current that shouldn't be because this is technically turned off. So it shouldn't be drawing any current. There's no battery connected. So let me just load up the thermal camera. Only 97 viewers. Uh, no, there's not. There's like 198. Could, could everyone confirm if the light button is working? Yeah, make sure it's working, guys and girls. Right, thermal cam. What's going on? Uh oh. Hmm. Something's not happy around that CPU, is it? Fifty degrees Celsius. That's not good. Oh, that, yeah, that's a CPU. Uh, <laughs> that's actually the CPU, what's getting hot. Where's my macro lens? No clue. That CPU just burnt my finger. Hmm. This might be just give up instantly, to be honest. It might be rip CPU, yeah. And it could be a MOSFET.
like it's just because the CPU is getting hot, it doesn't necessarily mean it's the mo it's the CPU that's bad. But that's a very specific spot where that's getting hot, isn't it? Right, let's just unplug that. Yeah, I agree, tier number 15. Uh, the Fed's not always going to show up. That's the problem. Um, it doesn't necessarily always show up. Uh... Right, has that MOSFET there been removed or or what? Let's just have a little scan around. I've unplugged this by the way, just to just to make sure I'm not going to short anything out. Uh, let's just have a little hunt around. Um, I don't think that's been removed. I think it's intentionally uh, intentionally not there. So intentionally a no stuff fet. Technical dad just resubscribed for ten months. Uh, technique, thank you, mate. So I'm just hunting around here just to see if I can find anything. I won't bother reading everything out, I'll just let you all know. Uh, this one here. So on this one, I'm getting oh, I'm gone. No, maybe not. Hang on. Uh, it's a little bit out of focus. Sorry about that. Um, hmm. Right, on that one, I'm getting dead short. On both sides of that, there. I think, is that a resistor or is it a cap? It's hard to tell. Uh, that one, I'm getting 0 0.29. On that side, um, and on that one I'm getting 0 0.29 same as that one and same as that one but this one oh hang on now I'm getting 0 0.29 was I touching ground by accident? maybe hmm don't know hey Ellis Jonathan Alves legend, became a member thank you buddy Ian Pryor became a member. Kenneth Davis became a member.
Gloria Shiva became a member. Dina became a member. Dina became a member. Gloria Shiva became a member. Thank you, Eddie Shiva Legend, mate. Kenneth Davis became a member. Ian Pryor became a member. So I'm just hunting at the minute just for shorts, but I'm not finding any. So one of those was he, one of those Alves on, became you know, a MOSFET member. was showing up a short, but I think I was just touching ground. Hey, thanks, Ellis. Cheers, mate. Ellis um, yeah, the weather wasn't bad, mate. Um, hopefully you cents. had a good break yourself. Glad you had a good week away. I got away for the data Whitby. Hope weather was good for you. Yeah, it wasn't bad, mate. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate your buddy. Right. Phil uh, C became a member. These might be low impedance. They are showing up as short, but I think they might be Michelle low impedance. Michelle Tricks became a member. <laughs> Mike, you fucking legend. Why are you all being so kind? Thank you, guys. Matthew Laverty became a member. Soda Stream Boy just subscribed on Twitch. Uh, Soda Stream Boy, thank you. Really appreciate it. Matt Hale became a member. Yeah, it was a good day. Get away for the day. Nice, mate. Nice, nice, nice. Richard Evans became a member. Yeah, so they're showing up as like 0 0.002. I think they're probably going to be low impedance, Sarah the same as these inductors. Um, so I'm not seeing anything so far. Mr. B became a member. 0 0.008. Solid Blake became a member. Do you fix iPad screens? Uh, I don't, mate. If you go in touch with Wayne, get refurb, though. I'm sure he'd be happy to do it for you. Luke Davis became a member. Uh, what does a member do? When I eventually, when I actually do it, he gives you like, early access to videos Kate and stuff. Tanner became a member. I really need to get better at that sort of stuff. Luke Davis became a member. At the minute, he just gives you a cool green icon. <laughs> right. Solid Blake became a member. So, I am really not seeing much, but there is something there that's quite interesting. Mr. What's B that? became a member. What's that dark spot underneath his capped on tape? Sarah B became a member. That looks like a burnt transistor to me. Richard Evans became a member. Possibly. Matt Hale became a member. Don't know if we're either a coffee or the shed fund. Thank you, Chris. Really appreciate that, mate. Why is everyone, why is everyone being so supportive today? Matthew Laverty became a member. Well, it's not showing up as short. Michelle Tritz became a member. 0.13. Phil C became a member. What does you two keep Kate repeating Tanner itself? Became what a the member. hell? Yes, YouTube. I know. Thank you. <laughs> Chris is Cox super chatted six dollars and sixteen cents. Dono for either a coffee or for the shed fund. 
Keep up the good work. Thank you, guys. You're all you're all really generous. I really appreciate it. Right, why is this coming up as? Oh, hang on. Okay, now it's working. But that is showing up as short. This MOSFET. It's not showing up as short on the drain. Uh, the gate is showing. Actually, no. This MOSFET's obviously different because. That one's showing as 0 0.57. Those two are showing as open line. That's showing as 0 0.13. Open line. Open line. Dead short. And dead short. Right, this cap here is showing up as dead short. And I don't think that's normal. I doubt very much that's going to be normal. So is it that cap what's, um, what's short and not the uh, actual CPU? I don't know. Sorry, not the cap, that, that MOSFET. What's short? Uh, it's a gaming tablet thing. Uh, I'm not sure. I need to remove that cap on tape. Um... Let me plug this back in. I'm going to drop a bit of IPA around here and just see if there's anything a little bit more prominent than the CPU getting warm. And that's getting warm, but it's not. Macaque just resubscribed for four months. Warm. Uh, Mikael, thank you. Really appreciate that. If I do get a gift in a membership, can I refund it? <laughs> uh, cheers, Tab. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, so that is getting not warm, not hot, but it's getting a little bit warm. Um... You can see the IPA is evaporating from there, but just not super quick. Ellis tipped six dollars and ninety cents. You left us for the weeks. We're all feeling generous. <laughs> Cheers, Ellis. Thank you, dude. <laughs> I'll have to leave more often. <coughs> the cheap above it. Um, no, I don't think so um i'm not sure um the problem is i'm never going to find a schematic for this it's going to be a very obscure device but you can see that oversample reality cheered dex 3000 oh wow what a Thanks legend for the content keeping me up to date in case my current job goes booba up thank you oversample i really appreciate that thank you for the bits what's that isn't that like 30 dollars in bits thank you i really appreciate that Yeah, so the, the the MOSFET's getting a little bit warm, but not as warm as the CPU. But I mean, current's going to take the path with the least resistance to ground, and obviously the CPU is probably going to be lower resistance than the MOSFET itself. But that very prominent spot there is very um, very worrying. Um, what about, if I, what about if I cover that? No. It's not getting nowhere near hot enough to be that, I don't think. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I could remove that, but is it going to be safe enough to do that inside the motherboard or what? Uh, inside the housing or what? I mean, with very focused heat, probably. I don't really want to be taking the motherboard out because, well, that's very likely a dead CPU.
Maybe a cap on the other side. No, that's very, very specific to the um, to the CPU. Well, I think that's the GPU side of the die. I don't know. I think, I think it is. It's very, very specific, and that is showing up as short on that MOSFET though. But sorry, on the cap below it. If it was the cap, it probably would be the cap that showed up as short. But this this cap here and this part of the MOSFET is showing up as short. I don't know if that's normal. That's the only problem. Is there anything else around here? Probably a few more FETs, yeah. Ah, power management stuff. Uh, not really of concern. That's probably going to be GPU side anyway. Honestly, I think this is probably CPU, but... Ugh. Azus tablet, mate, yeah. Um, I'm not sure on the jumpers because... I mean, it could be the jump... Bear in mind... If those jumpers have shorted something out, that there is... A chance that that would go to the CPU, given that they're going to be jumpers for data lines. Um, but I don't think that would be giving me false readings. Could it be the memory controller in the chip getting hot? I'm not sure. A CPU next Tuesday. Keep it for parts and work on something else. It's not mine, but. I'm just trying to fix bets. <laughs> yeah, a schematic definitely would help. I'm going to... I think I'm going to hunt for one. Um, right, what is this? Damn, it's a Core i9. Very high end GZ three oh one Z. Yeah, things are definitely not built as good as they used to be. Yeah, this definitely ain't no Ali tablet. For real. Uh, hmm. I mean, this is like a couple of grand tablet. It's not cheap. Well, it's still a grand now, refurbished. They ain't cheap. How's it going, CFQ? BC, how's it going? i9 plus an RTX inside a freaking tablet. How long before we see that kind of spec in phones? Probably about another two years, mate. If that... You and Tronic Fix should make a video. You know what? I would love to go to America and actually make a proper video with him, but I'd never get in. Uh, um, I'm not seeing any schematics. Uh, let's see if there's a part number on the board. Probably not. It isn't a Zeus product after all. I could take the board out. Uh, the problem is putting the frigging thing back together. This is going to be complicated as hell to take apart. <coughs> it's one of two things. It's either that MOSFET or the CPU. 
If it's a CPU, it's game over because it's not going to be worth fixing. Uh, well, it would be if you could find a working CPU. Um, it's going to be one of two things. It's either going to be the MOSFET or the CPU. That's the only place I'm finding that short. You ain't going to find no replacement motherboards for this this um, laptop. That's for certain. I sent you the Gigabyte H310M. Um, right, okay, yeah. Uh, send me a DM on the store, mate. Consolefix.shop. Uh, yeah, it is... Um, thingy wire. Um, it is Colty wire, so that's not going to be causing a short. Replace the MOSFET, and if it's still dead, then it's CPU. Yeah, probably. Uh, the thing is, the thing that I've got a question there is, is it safe enough for me to take this off while it's still in the housing? I mean, the MOSFET looks rough. It looks a little bit charred, but... Hmm. Uh, I think it probably would be safe enough to take this off while it's in the housing. Um, I do it quite regularly, but it does look like someone might have replaced this already. Come to think of it, you know what? Someone has replaced it already, haven't they? It's pointless. Someone's already replaced it. Someone's already worked on this. Give us a tune. <laughs> nah, I lose subscribers when I do. What's the red ne next to the CPU? Uh, it's like um, it's like a glue. It holds the CPU in place while the reworks go while the um, while the board's being assembled. No worries, Mother. Yeah, it looks like that. Looking at that, it look that looks like um, this has been replaced already, and that doesn't look like factory solder either. That's been replaced. I think this is probably a CPU. And I don't think it's worth me, worth me continuing. Just being honest. <coughs> what what was the trouble when pairing on? Uh it's got um it's got a very prominent heat spot right on the CPU and there's no pair at all. And it's drawing a constant 300 milliamps ish. But yeah, there's a very prominent heat spot right there in the CPU. Could just be a failed MOSFET replacement. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It looks like whoever's done this knows what they're doing. Uh, I mean, yes, those jumper wires are a little bit rough, but... Whoever's done this knows what they're doing. I want to see a live blood fix. They're a pain in the ass. The Unity 120S. No. No. Put the put the little bit of extra money and get one of these. You got the voice of a heavy smoker. Oh, I'm definitely a heavy smoker. I'm definitely a heavy smoker. Uh Look, it's not worth me continuing. It could be a shorty cap, yes, but... I mean, I could knock that one cap off pretty easily. Uh, that cap is showing up as short. I could knock that one cap off. Just in case it is just this random cap. But if I knock this cap off and it doesn't resolve it, I'm not putting it back on. Just as a heads up. I'm not going to do it that way because I don't want it crash into the CPU. No, it's not the cap. He's still showing up as short. Yeah, I'm not I'm not putting that cap back on. I think this is a dead CPU. I'm gonna be honest. 
No, reflowing the CPU would never fix it. What is that? It is um, an Infiray P20 Pro. I can get you an Amazon link to it, to this thermal cam. It's very, very good. Actually, no, they're cheaper on AliExpress, and I get more more commission. Ha! Uh, sorry, P2 Pro, not P20 Pro. Uh, right. Here's a um I'll post this on YouTube and Twitch. So here's an AliExpress link. That's an affiliate link. Um I'll get you a Amazon link as well if you want it quicker. But it is a little bit more expensive. But that being said, you can get it on uh Prime. In fact, there's a £40 voucher on Amazon right now. Um, so you can get it for 2 59 on Amazon. No, um, that's way too... Look, that, that, that's showing up way too prominently to be... Uh, a short on the uh, back of the board. It's very, very distinct. Um, it's definitely on this side of the board. Uh, I don't think we'd get that kind of heat through on um, the back of the board if it was coming from the back of the board. And I can feel it with my finger right in the corner of the CPU. It's very, very distinct. I don't know where my macro lens has gone, so I can't show you a close-up. But that is incredibly distinct. Even without the macro lens, you can very visibly see that it's directly on the die. Uh, and the MOSFETs are all reading as good. So... It'd be worth buying a CPU. I can leave that up to the customer. I'm happy to replace the CPU. Uh, but the customer would have to pay for it whether or not it fixed it. That's the problem. And the other issue with this is if it's not the CPU, they've just wasted a few hundred pounds. Or the fact that, you know, you'd, you'd have to buy a CPU and take the risk of it being faulty. That's the problem as well. Because I could buy a CPU or I could take one from a donor board if I could find one. Um, I'm assuming any i9 CPU would do the job, but... Uh, you know, you could reboil it and whatever, but you take the risk of buying it and it being faulty. It's a huge risk. Forgot to put the battery in before sending it to you. No worries, Alan. Um, I will take a look into that tomorrow for you, mate. It is very rare to get just that spot on the CPU heating up. Yeah, that's the thing. It's a very, very specific spot where it's heating up. It's not like it's spread out. If it was the other side of the board, the heat spot would be spread out. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that this is probably CPU, and it's probably not worth me continuing. Yeah, I don't think it's worth me uh, worth me continuing with it. It's already had rework as well. That's another issue. It's already had some rework. I think what's happened here is someone's done some other work on it and probably killed the CPU. Probably with that. which will be a real shame with this. I mean, we've got damage here as well, look. I did note that before we even started. 
there's damage there on that as well. But that's a real shame as well because this is a really nice freaking tablet. Um, it sucks, but unfortunately, even if you do get lucky and you do find, like, you'd have to find one of these with a smash screen or something because this is obviously not going to be a cheap screen. So you'd have to find one with a smash screen to make it worth replacing the board. Um, I mean, it's got... What, what's, that's a 2230 one terabyte SSD. That's worth like 150 quid on its own. I can probably get the data off it for the customer, but... That's about it. I'm going to have to pay for that, though, because it would be time-consuming. I've got to figure out how to put this bloody thing back on now. Um... Hang on, actually, there's a point. Yeah, next job, yeah. There's a point. I haven't even put the heat sink or anything back on. Yeah, at least the data's savable, yeah. That's the main thing. Um, I can get the data for the customer, but that's about it. Obviously, they'll have to pay for it, but... Yeah. You know, you could probably strip this down for spares and get a fair whack for it. You know, a fairly decent chunk. I'm not even going to replace the liquid metal on this, it's not worth it. Because if someone does work on this and manage to fix it, then, you know, they're going to have to replace the liquid metal anyway. How does this, how does this sit down? Like that. But yeah, it's not even worth me wasting money replacing the liquid metal. If someone works on this, I've got to take the heat sink off, and if they take the heat sink off, then they're going to have to replace the liquid metal again anyway. So it's pointless me doing it and wasting money. Oh well, never mind. It is what it is. By the way, there's absolutely no life in the battery, so... Doesn't matter that I'm connecting these up with the battery plugged in because it's completely dead anyway. Oh, ho, 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 I nearly dropped it. I nearly dropped it. It would have been calling me Linus. I don't think you don't want to do is crack the bloody screen while you bring it back together. That's for damn sure. Ellis Scarbutt cheered X500. Hey, thank you, Ellis. Just for the 500 bits, mate. Appreciate you sharing your bits with me. <laughs> thank you, buddy. Really appreciate you, mate. Damn magnets. I hate magnets on tablets. Stop it.
That's the camera. Ha! <laughs> well, that ain't gonna work, is it? Uh, right, where do the long screws go? They go there. And there. SSD. Hmm. It's no wonder I struggled to get that unscrewed. It's a Phillips screw. Now I know why the uh, things there, that captain tape, it's because that's where the M.2 drive is, so protect that. Makes sense. That's a Phillips screw as well, what the hell? Hmm, well, there you go. Alright, let me put this back in the box, and uh, I'll grab something else to work on, I suppose. Yeah, it might help if I turn the thermal camera off, wouldn't it? Well, sorry guys and girls. Well, I'll be back in a minute.
Right. I see a switch game. Yep. Uh, right. Okay. Who's a dickhead? Me? Of course I am. <laughs> Lol. Uh, bear with me a sec. Right, so, I've got two Switch OLEDs here. Let me just put my mic back on in a second, but bear with me. Uh, not a lot, Jess. It works on a tablet, but no joy. Let's get rid of that light. Um, right, so I need to cover up this info because it's it was in an envelope saying, please read. Uh, so I've got a couple of Switch OLEDs with... Uh, prior repair attempts so on some fancy paper two switch OLEDs and it says uh, normal switch OLED try to mod it and maybe it doesn't turn on it needs new CPU caps and then it should work I have included some for the V2 as I think they are the same uh, Splatoon Switch OLED also work, it just needs a new display connector. I have included one, I've tried to fix both but had no success. So these are both prior repair attempts. So let's have a look. We'll see if we can fix them, shall we? Right after this message from today's sponsors. Ha! <laughs> While I grab a smoke. They're yours. Oh, okay. Nice. So, does that mean I can or can't slag you off while I'm working on him? Have you all seen the scam on 700 switch? What's that, mate? What are we talking about? What are we talking about? I found that tablet at 3500 new. Damn. Can if you want. Sweet. Sweet, we have permission to slag him off. So let's laugh at his soldering. Everyone, got, everyone say ha ha when we see his soldering. How many caps are in that bag? Probably about 100. Oh look, 100. Hey, anyone to think I've read it first? <laughs> I'm so good. <laughs> right, back in a second. Go. $7 Switch consoles. No, I haven't seen that. Yeah, it was an ROG tablet, yeah. Possibly the model a bit further back in chat. What, these OLEDs? Yeah, customer switches, yeah. Uh, it's in the chat, so we get to slag him off. Uh, which one should we work on first? Eeny, miny, this one. Fuck it. <laughs> uh, let's work on this one first. Actually, what was wrong with this one? Okay, this was an LCD connector. Right, so 
yeah, let's work on this one first, and we'll um, then we can slag him off for his soldering on the uh, the second one later on. That cooking mat's holding up well. He's starting to give up. Uh, this is my second one, though. Bear that in mind. Uh, they don't last too long, but for the price of them, they are pretty good. After replacing the thermal paste on the PS4, you've noticed there's a lot more hot air coming. PS4 is running great, though. Should I be concerned? No, I'm assuming you've cleaned out the vents at the same time, so no, probably um, probably a good thing, really. If you've cleaned the vents and stuff, just came for a sec, you have to sleep. No worries, thanks for stopping by. What do you pay for them? What, for these? They're not mine. These are not mine. That's... Uh, Pretty deep scratching that old head. Is that, I'm hoping that's a screen protector. Because that's a pretty deep scratch. Yeah, hot air coming out is definitely a good thing. Yeah. PS4. I'm not sure what you mean. Oh, the mat, uh, about, uh, about 13, pound, 13 pound, I think. Yeah, I hope that's a screen protector. Is it or isn't it? Hmm, I don't know. But it's a very deep scratch if it's not. You said PS5. Not sure what you mean. One of them I did drop in the middle of the road, and no, it's not. Ooh, rip. Ouch. Uh, oh, this is the limited edition one. Um, that's not the right one. I don't want to work on that one yet. I want to work on the normal one. Um, right, okay. Yeah, let's work on this one. That's a screen, no protector. Good job I didn't carry on peeling then. <laughs> Um, anyway, let's get to it, shall we? Let's, uh, let's see what's going on. Right, so, 15 volts. Zero amps. That's not charging. Is the battery unplugged? Oh, that's a very, that's very loose. That's not meant to be that loose, and there it's only drawing five. Hmm. Hmm. Something more going on with this one. Oh, this was the modded one, wasn't it? Damn it. All right, let's work on the modded one, stuff it. Right, so yeah, this is drawing five volts, zero amps. Let's have a look and see what's going on. Um, so yeah, this is a modded one, modded one. So fifteen volts and not charging, and then going to five volts. That would kind of make sense, I guess. Sort of thing. I don't know. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's just work on it and see if we can sort it out, shall we? So, I see this quite often, actually, with mods gone wrong. Um, any game that I can steal? No. Well, you suck. <laughs> uh, yeah, I see it quite often where, where mods are going wrong on the, especially on these OLEDs. They might, I think they're probably a bit harder to mod than the uh, the originals, maybe. Don't know. Could be wrong. I don't get involved in mods, so I don't know. So the only problem here is if I have to, like, if the issue is with the mod itself, I would have to take it off and not put it back on. That's the only issue here. That is getting a little bit warm inside there, mate. I'm not going to lie. Mm, that's not good. Damn it, we have to 
if you want to screw them. I haven't taken many of these apart. Yeah, that's getting a little bit warm inside there. I'm not liking the feel of that at all. Down by this corner of the screen here. I'm really not liking the feel of that. I need to get this apart quick so I can disconnect that battery. So I'm going to rush through this. If I break anything, I'm sorry, but I will fix it. Um, but I'm not really not liking the feel of that heat coming from the bottom of that screen right now. It doesn't feel great. Check with the thermal cam. Uh, I'd rather just get it apart and remove the battery just to prevent any further damage, really, to be honest. I've just got to remember to take the damn things apart because I'm not used to these. Seems the heat's gone away, or going away. Damn it, no thermal cam. What the? Where's my thermal camera gone? What's going on with the thermal cam, that? Thank you. We'll just plug this back in a sec. Okay. That's strange. Now it's drawing 0.48 amps. BQ is getting warm, but that's normal. So maybe that's where the heat was coming from. It was getting warm on the on this part of the screen, so that could just be where the heat was coming from. Is BQ uh, a little bit strange? How it's now drawing current, though. Why is that? Hmm. I really don't know. I'm going to leave it plugged in for a minute just so I can charge the battery a bit more. I was just making sure the CPU is not getting warm there. Let's unplug that.
I hate those charge ports. Those clips always come off. Put that back on in a bit. Let's move that to one side. Let's have a look at this underneath the microscope. Start off with the NAND because this is a a mod gone wrong, so I always start by looking around the NAND first. That looks fine. Uh, end cap appears missing there though. I was going to visually inspect the board first, just so I can get a general idea of what's going on. Uh, can you take a closer look at the heatsink? Uh, what well, on this? Um, it has got a bit of a bend in it, yeah. It's not great. I don't know how much that's going to affect the cooling, but to be honest, these don't really run hot anyway, so... Um, yeah, there is a bit of a bend in it, though. Right, so where are we missing? Ah, here. Oh, I can see that. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. Uh, right. Let's clean this up first. It's amazing how much those caps really do make a difference. Right, so it looks like we've got some solder blobs and stuff. So let me just clean up this CPU properly. The OLED one runs a lot cooler. Yeah, they do run fairly cool these days. They do run certainly run cooler than the original switches. They've got better more, they've got better power management and stuff as well. Right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this a really good scrub. And then while I'm doing that, you guys can laugh at your soldering. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, so yeah, the the note about the CPU caps being the same, they pretty much are. Um, so what I'm going to do with this is there's four which I've identified here, which I'm going to just gonna knock off and then solder new ones on. Um, So I'm going to knock these two off here, uh, that one there obviously, and then there's also one just there. Uh, it looks like the end cap's been knocked off on it. So yeah, I'll get a closer look at that in a minute, but it does look like the end cap's been knocked off. So I'll get rid of that one as well. If I'm going to do one, I can do them all at the same time anyway, so I may as well do them. Uh, right, here's the problem. It's not... Well, here's one of the problems. Uh, you see this trace here? Right there. Well, assuming that's not connected, which I think it's not, then that's going to be your main problem. We'll see. Did you enjoy the packaging? Uh, I didn't take much notice, to be honest, mate. I'll be honest with you. I don't tend to pay, take much notice of the packaging. I'm not going to lie.
Right. So yeah, that trace right there, that's that's gonna be an issue, I think. The only problem is if that's not connected properly, he's getting it to you know actually being able to restore it without having to lift the CPU off. Yeah, so that end cap is definitely missing on this one cap here. Um, so you can see how that cap's completely broke. And then we've obviously got issues with these ones as well. So, let's just remove these first. I'll deal with that trace later on. Oh yeah, it was, it was modded, he's already said, yeah. It was a mod that's gone wrong. He's already said. It's all good. Uh, the only problem I have with these is when the mods get left on. If I have to take the mod off to be able to fix it, I can't legally put it back on because I'm not going to risk my business for people. So... Um, normally I'll take the mod off, stick it in an ESD bag and just send it back as an unmodded switch. I say normally, I do it every time. I do see a few of these. I'm going to go for the short and sweet. Um, get these off as quick as I can method. But obviously, I don't want to be putting heat on this for too long, so... Let's use the fast approach. That basically means 440 degrees Celsius at 40% airflow and just get them off as quick as I can, basically. <coughs> right, let's just clean up these joints. we are okay oh two oh one mi one microfarad is that really what these are I don't know about that I don't think they are mate I'll be honest I don't think these are even oh two oh one caps I think they're I think they're uh, smaller than that. Let's have a look. They are of a smaller profile than that. Like half the size. Uh, actually, maybe, maybe not. Oh, I didn't think they'd be like that. I, I don't didn't think they'd be that um, that high value. To be honest, can anyone confirm? No, it's not a quick, it's an Atom. Yeah, the original ones I would assume are going to be in the Pico Farad, right? Um, I'll just practice and taught myself, uh, ABD. Uh, Rashid, I'll just practice and taught myself, mate. Watch videos and stuff. Can a game card slot go bad, but the digitizer still work? Yes. Probably a lot of capacitance. Yeah. You know what, I don't know if I trust them. I might just take some off a donor board. Um, to be honest, I don't think they're meant to be that value. I don't think they're meant to be 100. Um, sorry, one, uh, one microfarad. 
don't think they're meant to be that high capacitance. Not for the CPU. So I'm going to take some off a donor board instead. It's not an issue. I've got hundreds of donor boards. Um, I just can't see them being that high value. I have got an LCR meter, but not to hand. I just can't see them being that high value, to be honest. We can talk about it, Scoot, just not in here, mate. Uh, right, that is... That's a hack 10. Uh, I'm not going to use that one. Um, do, 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 do. Let me find a... Let me find a had donor board. A HAD. If I can. Uh... Gotta find one. Um, let's, get, let's get my box of donor boards. Yes, I literally have a box of donor boards. Um, <laughs> Sam Ringland super chatted two dollars and forty five cents. Hi, mate. Me and Kim are watching again. Thank you, Sam. Welcome to Sam and Kim. Appreciate the support, mate. Thank you. Right. Here's a HID board. Probably would have been better off with a HID CPU 10, but... Meh, doesn't really matter. So if you look at these, they're both a uh, 0DNX10A1. 0DNX10A1, so the same CPU um, on the later revision switchboards. Robert Cross super chatted two dollars and fourteen cents. Cheers, Robert. Thanks, mate. I'll start off with this one. See just how quick the solder melts on that. Like I said, I'm going for the fast method. Kimberly Jones super chatted two dollars and forty five cents. Yes, well, I know some of this will be out of focus, but smiley face. I'd rather just get it done ASAP. Well, not ASAP, but as safely as possible, and that means flowing that solder as quick as possible to reduce the amount of heat on the chip. Just means high airflow and a fair bit of heat just to flow it as quick as.
There we go. The one thing you don't want to be doing is floating the CPU or even putting too much heat on the CPU. Well, SOC should I say. Yes, Sam and I are here again. <laughs> Cheers, Kim. Ow. The board's hot. Right, let's give that a clean. And I'm just going to... I'm going to run across these. Just with the iron quickly. You can actually do them with the iron, but the iron... I mean, the, the caps are really small. There we go. Let's touch those joints up. There's a couple of reasons I wanted to get that done as quick as possible. Number one is I don't want to stress that die by putting too much heat on it too quickly. Um, well, I say too quickly, I mean like too much heat for too long, more than anything. Um, so the quicker I can get that solder flowed and those caps flowed down, the better. Uh, number two, obviously this is a BGA chip. I don't want to end up reflowing the solder balls underneath. Uh, number three, I don't want to stress the, uh, the substrate on the CPU as well. So, to get it done as fast as possible. High airflow. Um, a fairly high temperature for a couple of seconds and you should be absolutely fine. Well, there we go. That's, uh, that's good. Did your first PS5 HDMI port? I see your friend Phil's channel. Nice, dude. Well, welcome as well. Thank you. Appreciate you being here, buddy. And number four, I like to sleep at some point. Yeah, at some point, I might actually get some sleep. I don't know when, but sometime this year, maybe. <laughs> right, well, my neck is killing me, so... I need a minute. You've delaminated a CPU before, but for test purposes. Ooh. I think, well, I mean, I've definitely popcorn CPUs. Most of that has been with the BGA machine, though. Xbox Series S. Uh, can you replace an Xbox an HDMI port? If you've got the right tools, yeah. Yeah, just take your time with it and obviously watch a few videos first to learn like, the characteristics of the board and stuff. Uh, but if you've got the right tools, if you've got a hot air gun and a soldering iron, absolutely, yeah. We're all first timers at some point, right? I really don't like the look of the edges of that die, though. Right, okay, so. Let's have a look down here then, or up here rather. Is that actually connected or not? That's what she said. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right, let's go into diode mode on the multimeter. Let's just have a look at... My diode reading for that. Yeah, it appears connected just. It just about appears connected. 
0.39 volt drop to ground. Right, okay. Let's give that a gander. Uh, so realistically, all I need to test this is to just plug in the LCD. But yeah, I really don't think that these are the right caps, to be honest. Uh, I could be wrong, but I don't think they are. I hate reconnecting these up. They're horrible to work with, these OLEDs. I think I've got an OLED board for sale, I'm pretty sure I have. Somewhere. Certainly, I've got an OLED board for sale. Yeah, I have. I bought one... Well, I bought a bunch of Nintendo Switch boards and the seller accidentally sent me an OLED board and it only needed a Wi-Fi chip. I say only, but... Yeah. It only needed a Wi-Fi chip to get it working. Uh, let me just... Uh, damn it. Where's my speaker for that? Mark Dale super chatted two dollars and forty six cents. I missed you. Where have you been? <laughs> Cheers, Mark. Uh, I went away for the week, mate. Um, didn't get back until like two thirty three p.m. on Friday, and I was too tired to stream, so I just left it till today. I was going to stream Saturday, and I just couldn't be asked. And then I, I was going to stream Sunday and I couldn't be asked, so, <laughs> yeah. All right, it's got to, just have to make sure all these ribbons are not getting caught. Oh, damn it, that one's fell behind again. Let's try and do it without moving the board too much. There we go. Got it. Damn it. Fuck. <sighs> Just dropped half the screws on the freaking floor. I'll have to find them in the morning. Um, <laughs> that sucks. If not, I'm sure I'll have replacements. Why did I put the screws on the edge of the fucking desk? I've never done that. Apart from... A few times. <laughs> I'll find them tomorrow. I don't generally reassemble on stream anyway, so... Unless it's something like a laptop. Why am I connecting everything up? You watch me end up having to buy a replacement set of screws because I can't fucking find them. Right. Moment tell truth though.
Moment L truth out. Well, that's not pairing on, is it? Not point forty eight. Hmm. She's dead, Jim. We could actually have a dead CPU on our hands. Hmm. So... The bridge should be going to ground. No, it shouldn't. If... Uh... Oh, hold on. Didn't see that bridge. Didn't notice that. At all. Um, that resistor's probably connected. Uh, right, okay. Let me do this quickly. Let me just sort this out. Beepy bastard. Both look a tad sad, yeah. Well, that could explain it. And yes, I did disconnect that. Ha <laughs> ha! Boom! Why is my thermal camera still on the screen? There we go. Boom. Thanks for pointing that out. I didn't see it. That's what I'm talking about. She's working. Yeah, magic. Do you believe in magic? Now it should fast charge. Yep. Yep. Bridge was probably holding some of them. Probably, yeah. Uh, there we go. Sweet. Nice fix, nice fix, nice fix. Indeed, eh? Is the connector still loose? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. I'll have a look at the port in a minute. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, indeed. Fancy cable. Oh, that's my personal charging cable, that is. Now find the screws. Ha! Uh, 
Um, what do you mean, uh, Dig of the Dump? Yeah, me too, Ellis. I always watch Dave's videos. Me too, mate. He's got some really good videos. Uh, just, just wattage that cable shows. Uh, literally, just he's got a little mini, uh, mini OLED screen in it. They're not great. Uh, I must admit, they're really not great. Um, I've actually had one of these catch fire. Don't use them at 100 watts because. Despite what they say, they don't support it. But yeah. Well, that OLED screen is only useful if you actually plug it in the right way. But yeah, it just shows watts. Actually, my show volts, does it? Uh, it shows how it's got power delivery. It says 12 watts, which is about right. Uh, 15 volts, 0.8 amps. Um... If I plug it into my phone, it does support super fast charging. 15, 18 watts, and then it'll reset. 90 watts, there you go. Uh, actually, hmm. No, I wasn't drawing 90 watts. Or was it 9? I don't know, I might have been looking at it backwards. Anyway, uh, yeah, it does work. I think it just shows watts. Do you believe in magic? How's that video doing? 6,000 views, damn. 6,000 views in three and a half hours. Check that out. Boom. Yeah, that should pop off. I reckon 15,000 views by morning, that'll be great. No heatsink on the CPU, it's fine. Uh, while it's just idling like this, it's fine. It's you know it's less than 36 degrees Celsius because I can touch it. Uh, the human skin can take up to 36 degrees Celsius before it starts to become uncomfortable. And I can hold my hand on there. Uh, these are really, really good at keeping cool, um, especially when they're idle. I can tell you exactly what temperature it is. But you know it's below 36 degrees Celsius if I can touch it with my fingers. Thanks so much, that's my main switch. Awesome, dude. Good shit. There's one down. Uh, so, official temperature is... At the hottest point... Um, oh, it actually says 41 degrees Celsius. Um, I guess I can take a little bit more than normal people. I say normal. You know what I mean. Uh, yeah, desktop. If you take a look there, you'll have to squint a little bit to see it. Uh, maximum temperature there. And that's with the console running. It's 40 degrees Celsius. So, yeah. I use fingers to hot swap T12 cartridges. <laughs> I use fingers on uh, people's mums. <laughs> is it is it easy to knack it up or is it wise to send it in? Um, I mean, I don't charge for, I don't charge labour for repairs. Try it if you if you fuck it up, send it in. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Yeah, there we go. There's one down. Um, I'm going to bag this up. Uh, I've got to find the screws for it, so... Um, yeah, 
Probably end up having to buy a bloody bag of screws, not even me. God, I can't believe I did that. Never mind. Uh, yeah, so I'll bag the rest of this up anyway. And um, Actually, let's just put some thermal paste on it before I forget. Mind you, I'm not going to forget anyway, but... Thermal paste and let's clean off this side of the CPU shield. There we go. I should solder the CPU shield on so we can't do it again. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, there we go. One down. One down. Just bought an atom thingy, looking forward to messing around. Nice, mate. Yeah, you you will definitely see the difference if you've been used to wearing, uh, used to working on, working with a Chinese one. You will see the difference. Trust me. Trust me. Yeah, so I'll bag this up and uh, I'll put the. Um, well, I'll try and find them screws tomorrow, and if not, I'm going to have to buy some to replace them with, because it, it some of the long screws that I've lost, so... Meh, yeah, it is what it is. Accidents happen. I think it was those screws, anyway. There's quite a few screws here, but I think it was those screws. I'll have to buy a couple of sets of old head screws, because I haven't got any anyway. Turn it off. Good point. Good point. I shall do that very shortly. But considering... Considering the customer has taken this apart, I'm assuming he's got a screwdriver, so I could, if I had to, order some and uh, send them directly to his house. And you replace them, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm kidding. I could technically do that, though. But, yeah, I'll find the screws tomorrow. I'm sure I'll find them. If he's going to do it, no, I genuinely forgot to turn it off. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Struggling to get used to my new microscope, but much better than the old digital. Um, that was one way to turn it off. Yep. Yep, just disconnect the battery. It can't drain any current then. Um, that's how I turn them all off, to be honest. I turn women off by just looking at them, but yeah. <laughs> Grab a magnet. Uh, yeah, probably will. Uh, I've got one on the desk, actually, out of a hard drive. It's a pretty, pretty beefy magnet out of a hard drive. So, but knowing me, I probably still won't find them. They're, they're on carpet, so it's going to be fairly difficult. Right, I just need to sort this pile of crap out because it's, it's messing up on me. Shut up. Ow! You son of a... That's a little bit hot, guys. Don't touch your soldering iron. Or better yet, don't touch anything that's 400 degrees Celsius. Just a little pro tip for you there. Right, move my strap on out of the way. <laughs> little pro tip, don't touch anything that's 400 degrees Celsius because it might burn you. Maybe. 
I felt nothing. That's for you. That's for your mum. <laughs> oh, I'm such a mean one. Damn it. I've got my phone dangling. Hey, get off. I meant to look at that USB port, but eh, I'm going to do it off camera anyway. I'll have a look at the port. That's a third degree burn. Probably more than that. Probably more than third degree. Demonetized again. Every stream gets demonetized anyway. Doesn't really matter. Every live stream gets demonetized. Damn, we're at 6,000 views on that video. Nice. Very good, very nice. Well, almost every stream. Let's put it this way. Let's get, let's, hang on, let's count up the last 10 streams. Right, in the last 10 streams, seven of them have been demonetized. <laughs> seven out of the last 10 streams demonetized. Oh, no, I didn't hurt myself. It was just a little like, jolt. It's all good. Right, let's work on the other one. Number two. Incoming. Do you believe in magic? The next switch does work, just needs a new connector. No worries, mate. I will just verify that it powers on first, though. As always. Just to cover my own back. I think I saw something light up, I don't know. Did I? No, probably not. I don't know. Just me losing the plot. So I'm looking for this to either start fast charging or to reset the charger. I never had it. The ugly cam must have been demon. See, it just must have been scaring the kids. Yeah, that's the one. Wait, that was your main switch, and you've got the limited edition one. Really? You got you got your priorities wrong, mate. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave that on charge for a minute while I'm disassembling it. Might not be connected. Um, it's taking a charge, so it should be. It's probably just completely dead. I'll leave it running while I'm, I'll leave it charging while I'm uh, disassembling it. It's not an issue. Does anyone know if boot is streaming yet? I think that's my charger what's loose by the way, not the um not the port, because this one's loose as well. I'd be a surprise if boot is not streaming today. The Splatoon one you bought just to mod, Jesus. <laughs> fair enough. Can't say fairer than that, mate. Not something I can help with, but, yeah. All right, should we lose a few viewers? Yeah. <sighs> lose a few viewers doing that. Is that the Sword and Shield one? Uh, is it? I'm not sure. I, I don't really follow like limited edition 
stuff, to be honest. No motherboard, motherboard screw, so I should save time. Oh, sweet. Good shit. It's a bit odd how it hasn't, how it hasn't booted yet, though. Just lost 11 viewers. <laughs> it's because people are snowflakes. <laughs> and I can't believe you farted on stream. <coughs> Shows the back up close. Give me a minute and I will. No, I was just thinking smell of vision. No, but people still whine. You just farted on stream, I'm telling. <laughs> Gotta love it. Do you believe in magic? That's a little bit gunked up on the connect on the um, game card connector. Just a little bit needs a good clean. What flux have you used on this, by the way, mate? Because that don't look great. Not so. Not asking you that just to slate you. I'm just. Just asking to ask. That don't look great, does it? Uh, that connector might need replacing as well. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. I have got a donor board if needed, so... It wouldn't be too much of an issue, but... It looks a little bit melted. Hmm. I'm not sure. Dance magic. Never heard of it, mate. Why isn't this booting yet? That is the question. Why you no boot? Let's have a look at the voltage on the... Oh, there we go. All right, never mind. It's just booted. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so when the charger starts flickering, that tells me it's booted up. Right, let's have a nose, shall we? So, we might end up needing to replace that game card module connector. It is a bit melted. I have got a donor board if needed. I haven't got any connectors, but I have got a donor board. Okay. No, we shouldn't need to replace that connector. It should be fine. Uh, I am going to just quickly get rid of this flux. I'm going to heat this up. Uh, 
Let's warm it up so I can clean the flux off. Right, that shield's going to have to come off because we end up with isopropyl alcohol yep, all over the CPU. Uh, so I'm going to have to clean the thermal paste off. sorts underneath here so might as well just clean this thermal paste off now and then replace it afterwards because obviously we're going to use flux and everything as well so it will find its way underneath and onto the, onto the top of the CPU no matter what just because of how close it is it always finds its way so I might as well clean all of that now Save myself a job in a minute. Plus it saves it all gunking up and getting all over the rest of the board. When I do start to use heat and stuff. Is that a solar blob? Dunno. Was I missing a pull down resistor on that other board? I think I might have been. Might need to look into that in a minute. a little bit better and clean it all up a little bit better in a minute yeah, it's a switch I would add, yeah. We're all fluxed up. Do do do. Right. Sort this out. go and I'm going to prop the board up on the edge of the table now I just need to find somewhere to weight down with Go.
I was grabbing this replacement connector. Looks fine. Yep, that'll work. Cool. Let's flow it from underneath the board, prevent it from damaging the connectors. Go. Yeah, have a good night, Major. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. Appreciate it, mate. Uh, I actually shouldn't need to resolder any of them joints. I should have all flowed nicely into place. So. Let's just clean it off and then I'll. Inspect it. Trying to do this while you're not holding the board steady is a little bit awkward. And trying to hold the board steady while it's hot is even more awkward. Have a look, shall we? Let's get that in focus. Yep, those joints look pretty good to me. Look good. Looks good. Right, that was what that's what I was using as a counterweight. Awkward like me walking into a room with a beautiful woman. <laughs> I've never seen a beautiful woman. <laughs> And you're getting a spot on first go. Experience, mate, really. Just practice. Just practice on some dead boards, you'll be fine. Plus, I do have a pretty steady hand when it comes down to it as well, so. Yeah, you just get used to it, mate. I really hate these boards nothing worse than these boards because rooting these cables is just a pain in the backside it really is It's 
give that a whirl, shall we? Try a Visa Mac MacBook that were pain in the ass. Oh yeah, definitely. I've actually got a MacBook to work on, but don't think I've got a Jimmy to do it tonight. I'm probably gonna have an early night. I have got a bit of a headache. And it doesn't seem to be going away. Usually when that's the case, give it another hour and it'll be unbearable. It's not that steady sometimes. Yeah, sometimes I get the shakes, but... Meh, don't we all? There is a reason I didn't want to touch up those joints, by the way. They're a pain in the backside when you get flux inside the connector. Hmm, why are you not connecting? I think we might actually have flux in the connector, I don't know. Eh, maybe not, we'll see. We shall see in a minute. Uh, I think I'm uh, ready to go. Uh, what I do need to do before I do anything, well, I'll test this. Up. I'll test this first and just make sure that we're going to display. But before I connect that up, I'm going to have to clean that connector out because there was flux on this side, and that's going to have transferred over to the other side. So let's just double check this is working, and if it is, then I'll clean this side of the connector before I connect it up. Because otherwise, it's just going to keep transferring flux. Let's have a look. There we go. Boom. We've got a display. Apprehensive about putting them on my YouTube channel. Just go, just go for it, mate. Who cares what people think? You've been drinking enough water. It's not what. It's not a. Um, it's not a dehydration thing, mate. It's uh, a neck injury. Yeah, just go for it, mate. Who gives a shit what people think? Uh, I mean, look at me. Like I'm not. Not exactly good looking, am I? Come on. Um, but I just don't give a fuck what people think of me. Because, why should I? People don't like it, don't watch the videos. That's the way I see it. Yeah, so it's a neck injury. The pain in my neck is always literally right there. I've got three slip discs in my neck. And that's what causes it. I should really go back to the doctors and try and get them to do something about it, but they probably won't, so, meh. Yeah, as long as you believe in yourself and your work, well, you don't even need to do that if you're just learning. Um, hmm, touch screen not working. Hmm. Touch screen, no work, eh? Is that a flux thing or what? Is that a flux in the connector thing? Or is it a completely different issue? I think there is flux in the connector. Let's have a look.
Yeah, there is flux in the connector, for definite. I don't recommend doing this unless you're experienced. Anonymous 1989 Ryan just became subscribed on Twitch. Milo Wadlin became a member. Heating up, up the the board while it's still in the housing. Really not recommend, recommended unless you are experienced. Dave G became a member. Clean the actual cable Mike as well. Javasi became a member. Jamie C became a member. Right, that seems to be going in a lot better. Tobias August became a member. We got a couple of channel. Damn it, you couldn't even see it. Ha! Well, I was cleaning it with um, IPA. So channel renewals coming through. I just hope it isn't the actual screen that's damaged. There we go. Yep, flux in the connector. Cool. Job is a good one. I know it's working. Did restream wake up? Uh, why was that a new renewal? Was it? Uh, Anonymous nineteen eighty nine subscribed. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Ellie's tier five hundred bits. Thank you. Really appreciate it. I've missed a few things. Sorry, guys and girls. Um, if I've missed it, sorry. <coughs> right, yeah, job's good and it's working. A little bit of flux in the connector, not an issue. Not a issue. Uh, right, let's sort out this game card module thingy. Um, let's leave that charging for a minute. Yeah, so it is gunked up, which is why I didn't want to just connect it straight back up, because it's just going to transfer that gunk. So that is definitely not going to connect, is it? So, let's do this, shall we? So if I'd have connected that up, it would have just ended up causing the flux to transfer from that to the main board again. And then I'd have had to clean the main board again for a second time. A really good scrub. No, I don't want no scrub. And there we go. Cool. Right, that's just IPA, so I don't even need to wait for it to dry. Heat and IPA flood, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, but yeah. Don't even need to wait for it to dry, and there's no logic on this board at all, so I can just connect it right up. Well, actually, Oh, there you go. That's got it. Yeah, so I'm going to connect it right up and just check it straight away. I don't need to turn it off or reboot it or anything like that. It's Pokemon Yellow. Is that installed on here? Let me just have a look. 
I'll type it out on the screen, by the way, it's fine. Uh, data management, software. So I'm just checking if Pokemon Yellow's on here. It doesn't look like it is, so. Hmm. Well. Would help if it stayed connected, wouldn't it? Hate those things. There we go. Boom. Good stuff. Exploit Day Zero just resubscribed for seven months. Much love, Exploit. big man. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate that, mate. Thank you, thank you. There we go. Good stuff. All working. Nice. Uh, I'll get a full test tomorrow. That. Um, for now, it's good to go. LCD is working. And that is two out of two Nintendo Switches. Fixed. So... Yeah, happy days. I'm happy with that. Oh, I'm happy with that. Uh, was that the CPU shield for that one? I think it was. Let's clean that off. First thermal paste on. I need to clean the screen, but meh, it's fine. Yes, yeah, so I know I'll put the thermal paste on backwards. I did it just to troll everyone. Just because I can. There we go. And that'll get reassembled tomorrow. Same as the other one. So yeah, two switches fixed. You'll have a good reference for the other one. Uh, what do you mean, mate? Apparently the government just got email bombed because you farted on stream. Ha! <laughs> um... Yeah, happy days. I'm sure uh, sure the customer's going to be happy. Can I call them customers if I don't charge for labour? Are the customers or are they just the owners? Don't know. Clients, I guess. So, yeah, these will make a video. I'll probably put it all as one video, um, edit it all down and stuff, but... Yeah, if you are watching back of the video, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell notifications, and make me look really, really popular, because my dad called me a fa failure last night, and it's your fault for not being subscribed, so how does that make you feel? <sighs> to check which ones you may or may not have lost. Yeah, that is very true. It's very, very true. But yeah, there we go. Uh, yes, thanks, Matt. Um, it wasn't too bad. All right. So let's put this one facing the opposite way, like so. Drop that in there as well. I'll keep it all together, put them all back together tomorrow off stream. Good shit. Oh, thanks, Tony. Cheers, mate. Time to fix my PS4 Slim. Not sure which one that is, but as I said 20 minutes ago, my headache's getting worse. So, I don't think I can stay any longer, unfortunately. 
um, just because when these headaches do get this bad, if I don't go into a dark room within the hour, it'll be unbearable and I'll wake up tomorrow with a massive headache and not be able to do anything all day as well. Uh, is computer booter streaming? No. Well, you show those blue tinted glasses. It's not an eye thing, mate. It's a neck thing. But when they get this bad, to the point where painkillers are not working, it just has a snowboard effect. Unfortunately. Um, no, it's a holiday. Uh, is it in America? No worries, PV2. Uh, but yeah, I am going to leave it there because my head is starting to kill me. Um, appreciate you all hanging out though. I know it's not been a, as long as it normally is, but yeah, I'll just get an early night. I haven't eaten yet either, so I need to try and eat something. Tidy Beach Super Chatted $2.45. Thanks so much. I can't wait to get these back. Ah, oh, cheers, mate. Thanks, buddy. I'll give you a call tomorrow about these. Viper Warrior ATX Box became a member. Hey, Ellie's gifting another five members, mate. You legend. Thank you, dude. Uh, I have to take cold call them all. 30 milligrams. Scoop 20 became 500. a member. That's what I get prescribed. 200 a month. 100 every 16 days. Scoot 20 became a member. Been on codeine for about 10 years. Yeah, five, five years for me. But yeah, thank you all. I really appreciate it. Viper Any Warrior ATX Box became a member. For no reason. No, she probably needs a shit. Anyway, I appreciate it, guys and girls. Thank you all. Matt Schaefer I'll catch you became all later. a member. 3,500 today, same as me, mate, yeah. But yeah, take it easy. Chris Wiggins became a member. On my stream tomorrow night, don't know. Mine was a car accident, David. Yeah, 70 mile an hour. See you all on the next one.